Okay. So now Peter pays $72 to buy a watch after a discount of 20%. What was the original price? Okay, here we go. Listen now, I'm telling you, it's super easy. It's super easy, but everybody finds it challenging until they get the concept. How do I figure this out? What do you just find what the, what this kind of 72 is and add that up to find what it originally was? I don't know what that means. How do I do this problem? Oh. Tell me exactly what to do. Peter buys a watch size of this cost. Like, wouldn't we, like, oh, I should, don't know. Tell me. Sorry don't, don't be sorry. Wow, I'm super proud of you, girl. Super proud. Listen, listen, you have to understand $72. Is that the discount price or the original price? It's, discount. it's the discount price. <laughs> now, normally I have to pay what percent when I go into the store? You pay 100%. But this time I only had to pay what? I only had to pay 80%. Now listen, I had to pay 80% of the original price. So now look up on the board. 80% of the original is equal to $72. That's what I want your brain to say. Is the 20% related to the $72? No, 20% is not part of the 72. Do you understand where I got 80% from? Everybody. Mm -hmm. So now we can write an equation. How do I write 80%? 0.8 times 72. What was the original price? We don't know, so that's what variable? x and what does that equal 72 perfect 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 so now i'm making this so you hear me 80 percent of the original price is 72 dollars you're supposed to be able to translate that now into an equation all right so now how do i solve this no No, I, you're not listening, guys. No, there's the equation. How do I solve it? What you about 8 by 72? Yeah. Not 8 by 72. 72 by 0. 72 by 0. 0.8. All right, here we go. I know what some of you mean. I'm trying to get you technically. We're almost to algebra one, guys. So when you look at this, you should look at that and say, divide by 0. 0.8, divide by 0. 0.8. What number do we say first? The 72, 72 divided by 0.8. Someone tell me what that is. How much? So the original price was what? $90. The original price was $90. Now look, guys, really, really important, please. Really important. All right, let's check out number two. The price of a math book after a discount of 25% is $30. What was the original price? Okay, Nora, how are we gonna solve this now? So it's 0 0.70 because that's on the piece and then it's um, x equals 30 because- I know, but listen to what you said. You said 70 and it's supposed to be what? I know you know this, it's 25% discount. Yeah, but like up, up there when it's a 28. Okay, so what do you want to use? So it wouldn't be, oh my God, I'm sorry. No, 75, no. Yes. 75 x equals 30, and then you could do 30. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want everybody to, you're going to, you're going to tell me what to do, but I need everyone to understand this part right there. Was that good for you? Mm -hmm. Right? You had to pay what percent? Instead of paying 100%, you only had to pay what? You only had to pay 75%. All right. Now, we're going to do the next one and the next one and the next one. And look, if you're sitting there getting them wrong, you have to tell me. 
All right, it's important for me to show you how to use percentages in the real world. These are real world problems. Eventually you're gonna to have to figure this out. All right. So now go ahead, Nora, what do I do? 30 divided by 0. 0.75. 30 divided by 0.75 and that worked out to be $40. All right, I like it. All right, Mackenzie, tell me what this says. Okay, so we have lots of issues here. Mm -hmm. How many shirts did we buy? Three, six. How many? Six. We bought six, right? Yeah. But they're telling you, like you've been in the store before where if you buy, you know, mm -hmm. three, you'll get a discount, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, you bought, you went ahead and bought how many? So how much did each shirt cost you at this at this moment? Shh, I want her to think. How much was each shirt? How do I figure that out? Yes, everybody starts out by dividing 225 by six. So everybody's gonna go 225 divided by six. So what did that, I want Mackenzie to tell me. So each shirt was, wait a minute, I don't think so. Ah, I don't care. Do it again on your calculator. Because you said it right, you just gave me the right number. Oh, wait, 35, or 37. Does everybody get $37.50? So $37.50 is the price that you paid for one shirt. But that was a discounted shirt, correct? Mm -hmm. So now how do I figure out what the original price was? Let me hear you. Yes, that's 0.90. Yes. X equals 37. Okay, okay, okay. I'm proud of myself. Go. And then you would divide 37. Yep, 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 yep. And tell me what that is, girl. That was excellent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've got a calculator that's got problems. Clear that out. You even told me how to do everything and then you get the wrong answer. 3750 divided by 0. 0.9. Okay, so 41.6 repeating would be $41.67. Anybody else get that? Everybody's getting that? Okay, now again, guys, I, for, for re some reason, kids, this is really hard. All right, so we're going to take our time. We're going to go down problem by problem. All right, Ms. Clifton, you get to read me the next one. Hold on a second. What? Does 10% off of everything, is that different than 10% individually? I'm asking you a question. I don't understand that, though. Like, I don't understand I'm that. asking you a question for a reason. Mm -hmm. I, hey, listen, Nor, listen to me. I ask you, do you think it means 10% off individually or 10% off the whole thing? Oh, that, the that is correct. But if you take 10% off of each one, that's the same as taking 10% off of everything. Does that make sense now? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I was looking at it. No, 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 no. Tell, I, I'm, I'm, you, I know you're a thinker. I'm trying to help you. Because if, like, if you buy three shirts and you get 10% off, then it's like a tenth of the whole thing. But then, like, then there's three shirts, and then if you, like, no, 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 no. That's a good mistake. That's a good mistake. So if I go into the store, listen to me now, everybody listen. That's what I'm saying. I want to talk to you because you're, you're thinking, okay. I don't, I don't want you just to accept it. Right. So if, if we all go into the store and get 10% off, do we add the percentages together or does everybody just get 10% off? Individually? Yes, if, if we individually get 10% off and then we combine our bills, 
do we add the percentages or is it still going to remain 10 percent it is it remains 10 percent because 10 percent is a part of a whole you're not adding the percentages together you with me it's kind of like this if you go into the store and it says 50 percent off but if you buy it today, it will give you an additional 50% off. Do you get 100% off? No, it's the same principle. Does that make sense? All right, I hope it makes sense. All right, because you can do it on the whole thing if you want, right? You, you can say, you can take 225, right? You can take this, $225 times, uh, or equals 0.9x and then divide that by 0.9 right and then divide that by six oh, yeah. okay. you see what i'm saying now right yeah. okay all right thank you don't give up on it okay i know you're thinking all right read I'm here. For, right. Uh huh. You are awesome, girl. That's correct. Two thousand two hundred and fifty. Anybody get that? Two thousand two hundred and fifty. Everybody got that? Come on now. That's why I think it's important for you to try it. Anybody have any questions? What? Well, will you tell me how I got 0. 0.8? Oh, okay. okay. You with me? Yeah. All right, let's go. Type it in your calculator, make sure. You got it now, Jacob? Yeah. All right. Maggie, you're up. All right, guys, that's really good. All right, that's really good. All right, let's see if Max has it figured out. Six, come on, Max. Why is that? That's the price that we paid. No, it's not. Number six. Okay. $1.20 for it. Right. And you got a 20% discount. Right. So what percent did you pay? Um, you paid 80%. So how do I write the equation now, Max? Uh, one, one, two, I'm, ex I'm, I'm, I'm confused about why you think it's 1.2. Because you think you're adding the 20% back in, but you're not. We haven't done that on any single one of these. If you get a 20% discount, Max, how much did you pay for it? What percent? Um, right, so it's 0.8N equals $1.20. You paid 80% of the original price. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay, so now how do I solve this? Um, so you take the 0.8n, so you divide right. 20 by 0.8. That's correct, so do that right now. Um, so the apple originally cost A dollar fifty. I remember when you're dealing with money, I want a dollar fifty. Right. <clears throat> All right. Lila, tell me about seven. Oh, do I read it? Yes. Um, my following item says seventeen hundred and five hundred seventeen thousand five hundred dollars after a discount of thirty-six percent. Right. Okay. Um what was the original price of the item I bought? I like so it. I put I got point seven um X equals you're awesome girl and then x is, and then i divided that right and then I got x equals 25, 
I'm super happy with you on that, girl. Good job. All right, I like it a lot. Max, are you with me now? Are you understanding what we're doing? I'm a little concerned. Um, yeah. All right. I know what you you thought. What you thought actually is not a bad thought. You hear me? But we don't ever add a percentage back in. Well, it's not entirely true, but in this case, we don't. Got it. All right. Next, Jacob, go. All right. The PlayStation was bought for about four hundred dollars ninety five cents after a ten percent discount. What was the original price? Of so the, what do I do? Of the PlayStation. So there's um. So we know that. So we know that. When we so we got four hundred five. When we get we do point nine. Yes. And then B. Okay, B. Equals one ninety five. That's correct. And then we just divide. That's right. When I have five point nine, I get you five five hundred and fifty. Did anybody else? Did anybody else get five fifty? Mm -hmm. All right. Seems like we're doing going good. Sophia, go, girl. I know you know how to do it. So you do one thousand eighty, and then divided by point nine. Yeah, but I still want you to tell me it's point what. Nine. Yes. All right. And again, I don't care if you do that on the test. I really don't. But I still want you to tell me for and this. By and tell me what that was. Uh, $1,200. Anybody else get $1,200? All right. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ward, tell me what to do. So, um, get 0.8. 0.8 what? 0.8 what? 15% discount. Yeah. So how much, what percent do you have to pay? Yes, there you go. But I want you to say 0.85X equals 425. Now, I need you to tell me what goes into your calculator first. Yes, we're dividing 425. You said it backwards. So tell me what that is. How much? 500. Exactly. 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. That actually is very hard. Hopefully you find it easy now that you understand it. Yeah, All right. So here we go. Next. All right. You get to do number 11. This right here. Just I want you to just read this. That's number 11. Oh, yes, you're up. Griffin's general plans having 36 cell on sale on Sundays. Robert paid $25 per fan, $25 per fan. What is the original price of the fan? What do we got? 0.7x. 0.7x equals $25. $35.71. Anybody else get $35.71? Yes. Okay, good. Up here, Elliot. Um, you get to do this one right here at the closed barn. The closed barn is having a 60% off sale on shorts. Ben paid $14 for a pair of shorts. What was the original price of the shorts? So it's 0.4x equals 14. Good job. I'm sorry, you do 14 divided by 0.4. And I got $35. Anybody else get 35, please? Uh -huh. All right. Girls, you okay? Everybody's going good? All right. Now remember, please don't sit there and not know something. All right. Please speak up. I can fix it right away, but you have to do the problems. All right, Aiden. Sunrise Shack is having a 50%. 50% off sale on sunglasses and paid $22 for a pair of sunglasses. What was the original price? Well, that one's easy. Yeah. What is it? It's $44. Yeah, half off. You just double it, right? Yeah. So that we don't have to do any work on that one. Everyone should understand that. If you get 50% off, right, just double it. All right. Okay. So we're back over to Nora. Okay, so I'm going to have 
225.45. Do males get 225.45? Uh -huh. All right. Mackenzie, help me. 15. So I put 0.7x equals 256, and then 256 divided by 0.7 is $365.71. How much? Um, $365.71. Is that is that good, everybody? Yeah. Okay. Sixteen. Is having a two percent off sale on pool. Then pay three hundred ten dollars for a pool. What what as what what as the Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. What was? What was the original price? So what do we do? It was three forty eight. Uh uh, not point forty eight. Hold on a second. Let's do a hundred minus sixty. What's a hundred minus sixty? Forty, and then minus two. Forty minus two is what? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's okay. Most people put forty eight. Most people put forty eight. All right. That is correct. How much? Okay. Anybody else agree with that? Does everybody agree? Yeah, yeah. I don't care about a penny. I'm happy with that. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So now, again, guys, I think we're doing outstanding. So what I want to do now is... Who pays the tax? The business or does the person? The person. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and let's see if I can show you this. Go ahead. Maggie. Um, so you do 0. 0.75. Wait a minute. Read it to me. Oh, in an apartment store, the $40 grocery is worth. They 25%. What, what is the discount? What is the sell tax? Okay, now we got two questions here. Now I'm trying to help you understand. You have to know the difference between the price and the discount. Okay, so if they want to know the discount, what do I have to do? Now, is this the original price or is this the sale price, Maggie? Um, the original. Exactly. So how do I find the discount? Uh, you do what we did yesterday. And what could I do? Uh, you do 0.25 so I want everybody to do 0. 0.25 times 40. And tell me what that is, Maggie. Um, that's 10. Right. So $10 is the discount. So now what's the sale price? What's sale? The sale price. So you just got 10. Oh, $30. Yes, you know that. So $30 is the sale price. Now, uh, who can tell me what, what's different than what we did yesterday than today? Well, did I ask for the discount yesterday? No, I just asked for the sale price. So yesterday we would do 40 times 0.75. And that everybody do 40 times 0. 0.75. And does everybody agree that is the sale price? Yeah. You me? Sometimes they ask for discount. Sometimes they ask for sale price. Sometimes they ask for discount and sale price. So you have to read carefully and make sure you know what's what. Yes, sir. Sir, so if I'm sale price, you did go yesterday. Yeah, you could do 40 minus 10, though. Okay. You would think, or you could do 40 times 0. 0.75. All right. Um, Max. Yeah. I don't really understand this part. Okay, well, let me help you. Read it to me, please. 
Yeah, so what's the discount? If something's at the store mark 20% off max, I'm going to be mad if you can't tell me what the discount is. What do I do? Right. Now, we're saving 20% of what, though, Max? 20% of 12. 12, that's correct. We're not trying to find the original price. We're trying to find the sale price. So 20 times 12 is equal to the discount. And what is that? Point 0.2 times 12. Yes, $2.40. So how much are you going to end up paying for that case of soda? Max? Come on now, Max. It costs, it originally cost $12. You get a $2.40 discount. What do I have to do to figure out what it's going to cost me? Um, my yeah, subtract it. So, uh, Let's say $9.60, though. $9. All right. Is everybody with me on that? Now, can you also do 12? Everybody do 12 times 0.8. This is what we did yesterday. Everybody do 12 times 0.8. And what do you get? Yes. Are we allowed to do the um one with the not um, twelve like the twelve the, the type of thing we did yesterday on these? Yeah, yeah but part. the difference is it doesn't matter to me how you do it. All the right. only difference is they're asking for you have to tell me what the discount is. You see what I'm saying? One of the questions is what is the discount? Oh, okay. So you can't just do point eight times. 12. Okay. All right. Next. Oh, that's easy. What is the discount? Uh, 2.5. Yeah, two, but I would prefer you say $2.50 is the discount, and the sale price would also be what? $2.50. Right. That was too easy. All right, Aiden, you're up, number four. All right, uh, but in a bicycle store or a five hundred dollar bicycle store, it's get a thirty eight percent discount. What is the sale price of the bicycle? Now, do I care what the discount is this time? No. So, what can I do, Aiden, to do this problem really fast? You could do 0. 0.7 times five hundred. You are exactly right. Thank you so much. 0. 0.7 times five hundred. Did this answer your question, Jacob? You understand what I'm saying now? They don't ask for the discount. Okay, so we don't need. The so we don't need the discount. So if we get a thirty percent off, that means we only have to pay what seventy percent. Yeah. All right. So what's so, so what? You don't have to do the discount. All right. Thank you. For so All what, right. Aiden? What is that total? Three hundred and fifty dollars. You're amazing. Three hundred and fifty dollars is the bike. Okay, Elliot. Yeah, if the sales tax rate is seven. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Who pays the tax? The buyer. All right. So are they asking for the tax or are they asking for the total bill? Right. So what's the quickest way to do this? 39 times what? No, because th that means they're paying the tax. You have to add the bill. So you have to do 100%. You have to pay 100% plus the 7.25% in tax. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. okay. So you have to pay 107.25%, which is what decimal? Um, 1.7. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. All right. So I want everybody to do that on the calculator and listen to Elliot. Tell me what you got. Uh, 
I got forty-one dollars and eighty-three cents. Did anybody else get forty-one dollars and eighty-three cents? Yeah. Now, what if I would have said, "What's the tax?" If I just said, "Hey, what's the tax?" What would I do? Um, well, originally, let, let's just say the the shoes are thirty-nine dollars and the tax is seven point two five percent. If I just want to find the tax, I could do. 39 times 0 0.0725, and that would equal the tax. Do you agree with that? Now, you are correct. I could have just subtracted 4183 from 39, right? Okay. Is everybody understanding me on that? All right, Mikey. Number six. Yep. Price of a new car is $29,990. Is the sales tax rate 6.5%? And how much sales tax is being charged? Okay. So tell me. What do I have to do first? Multiply 29,990 times 6.5. How do I do 6.5%? Oh, 0. 0.65. No, point. Oh. Yes, times 0. 0.065. Now, the reason we're doing this is because the question specifically says how much tax is being charged. So tell me what that is, Mikey, please. $1,949.35. Anybody else get that? Yep. That's a lot in tax. So what would be the total price of the car? What could I do now? Just add the two together. And then I want everybody to put total is equal to, and I'm waiting for your answer. $31,939, What about the pennies? Not exactly. Well, where did the 35 cents go? What 35 cents? Did you tell me it was 1,000? Did I mishear you? Didn't you tell me the tax was $1,949? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So now please tell me, Maggie, what? Oh, no. I was just trying to say that I didn't understand where the 35 cents Yes. Okay. So now you're good. Okay. Did I skip you last time? Yeah, sorry, I skipped this. I, I don't know, I just lost my train of thought. So Curtis, you do uh, seven. If the sales tax, the sales, if the sales tax rate is seven point two seven five in New York State, then how much of my sales tax should be paid in housing for a thirty cent period of time? Okay, so what would my tax be? What do I have to do? You would do thirty four x I mean thirty four times. Yes. Say it. But how do I write that as a per, how do I write that as a decimal? Oh, you put point seven. I don't know. Yes, you do. Let's say we forget. So type in on your calculator seven point three seven five. If you ever forget or unsure, divide that thing by a hundred. Right, which means you just move the decimal two places to the left. You with me? Yeah. Now multiply that. $2.5. Exactly. 2.5 what? So then it would be $2.51. Do you agree with that? Round it up, right? So did they ask what the total bill was this time? No. They didn't ask for the total bill. Do you agree? Since they didn't ask for the total bill, we just have to find the tax. So you just multiply it by that percentage. All right, Sophia, go. Not this time, have a... Okay, you got the hard one now. Come on, girl, shine. A 32 inch TV that sells for $1,250 and is on sale for 15% at sales and sales tax is 6.5%. What's the final cost? Okay, what do I have to do first? Uh, do the discount. Right, and how do I do that? So 
Uh-huh. And then equals 15 No, 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 no. This times, is the times plus 15. Well, that would give you the discount. But I just care what the cost is. So instead of multiplying by point oh, five, times point eighty-five. Yes, everybody, everybody look at that, please. Now, this is the real world right here, because you're gonna get a discount and then you're gonna have to pay tax. You pay tax on the discount. So I need everybody to say 1250 times 0.85. Now, if you don't know why it's 1250 times 0.85, you should tell me. All right, so how much is the TV now gonna cost? $1,062.50. $1,062.50. Now the problem is you thought you got a good deal, but then you have to do what? Add in the what? That's right. So what do I want to multiply this by? Uh, multiply it by 0 0.065. And then I could do what? Tell me what that is. $69.06. So now how do I find the total bill? Uh, Add that to 1, That's right. Add those together. Now, don't pick up yet because I got one important thing to say. Wait, give me a second, Max. I want you to hear this. So the total price of TV is equal to how much? $1,131.56. Now, can anybody tell me a quicker way to do it? What do I do? One thousand sixty-two point fifty times one point zero. Yay! Good job, girl. All right. Does that make sense, Sophia? Even though you had the right answer, to save yourself some time, you could have said one zero six two fifty times one point zero six five. Right? Because this represents a hundred percent plus. You have to add in the tax. Does that make sense now? Mm -hmm. Right, but it, I don't care how you do it. You with me on that? I just want to make sure you know how to do it. All right, so I'm happy with that. All right, what time does the bell ring? 11. 11. So guys, everybody try 9, 10, and 11 for homework, but I want everyone to ask your parents to check your work. Is everybody with me? 9, 10, 11. I want someone to check your work. 9, 10, and 11, that's all you have. And then get your parents' signature on this sheet saying they checked it. All right, I want you to know how to do this and make sure you know, all right, discounts and tips or taxes. All right, really, really good, guys.